Hi everyone, I want to share with you all a series of visions that the Lord showed me and I pray that they bless you. My first vision is I was in a car and I saw snow and hills and then I heard a man singing and he kept singing, show me your face. He was talking to God and he kept singing it over and over again, show me your face. And then in the vision or in the dream, the Holy Spirit lifted me up and I saw the mountain of God and it looked golden. I saw Jesus and he was wearing all white and was going up the mountain of God. He had a staff in his hand and he was leading his people. I just had a knowing in the dream that they were the people of God to the top of the mountain of God. And at the top, I saw Father God. So God, the Father allowed me to see some of him, but not everything. Father God was enormous. So he was, he's, he, he seemed so big like a giant. He had white hair which looked like it was alive. I mean, it looked like it was full of life. And he was wearing a white robe and it all his robe also looked, it, it, it just appeared as if it was alive. He kind of seemed older, but not like an old person that we think of today. He was very strong, he was very majestic, and he was seated on top of a throne on top of the mountain of God. Now, if you've listened to any of my teachings before, you will know that the purpose of the tabernacle was to be a mini Eden. You'll also know that Eden was on a mountain. Eden was on a mountaintop. And the purpose of Eden is for humanity to dwell directly with God in his presence and see him face to face. The closest kind of intimacy that we can have with God. The second vision is this. The first in the spirit I heard drums. And then I went into the vision. In the vision, I saw a field of barley or wheat, and I saw priests gathering the barley, and they looked like priests in ancient times. They were wearing white garments, and they had like white caps or turbans on their head. And then the third vision that I had, or the third dream that I had, I was in a kitchen, and the kitchen was inside of the temple. So God gave me a knowing in the dream that I was inside the temple, and next to me, there was a young man and I knew he was a priest and he was there the kitchen in my dream where we were it looked all white and we each began to wash our hands with water that came from like a silver cup or like a basin I also saw that near the kitchen but in another area of the temple there were like rows of bedrooms for the priest to sleep in so actually, this is from scripture. So Ezekiel 46, 19 through 24 says, and He brought me through the entrance, which was at the side of the gate, to the north row of the holy chambers for the priest. And behold, a place was there at the extreme western end of them. And he said to me, This is the place where the priest shall boil the guilt offering and the sin offering, and where they shall bake the grain offering order not to bring them out into the outer court and so transmit holiness to the people. Then he brought me out of the outer court, out to the outer court, and he led me around to the four corners of the court. And behold, in each corner of the court, there was another court. In the four corners of the court were small courts, 40 cubits long and 30 broad. The four were of the same size. On the inside, Around each of the four courts was a row of masonry with hearths made at the bottom of the rows all around. Then he said to me, these are the kitchens where those who minister at the temple shall boil the sacrifices of the people. So I don't know the meaning of all these visions yet. I have somewhat of an idea or of a partial understanding from scripture and through proper exegesis, you know, of scripture. Um, but I don't want to say anything more than the Lord has given me. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.